Welcome back, I'm Quinnen, and today we're going to be taking a look at making a CSS document and bringing it in to use it in our HTML website that we're creating. So, you're going to need CSS for adding color or making buttons and stuff like that. You know how most websites you have links and stuff? So, you're definitely going to need CSS for that. I mean, you could use some, maybe like some JavaScript or PHP I've heard but CSS is the very basic and it's very simple so alright so this is where we left off we had the giant image now on our website we had the, this is where some buttons are going but we don't have any color just have some text and a big image so close out of this and we'll edit our code so I'm just using basic text editor here first thing we want to set the image back to its original size and then, so then we'll just minimize that a second. And then we want to add a new folder. So you just right click, and then click create new document. Or if you're using Windows, you just um, click create new text document. So then once you've got it, once you've got it to this point, you want to type color.css. So you can really name it whatever you want. I just like to name it color because then it keeps it specific because sometimes you can pull in, use multiple different um, CSS documents. So this just keeps kind of keeps it straight a little bit. All right, so there's still not anything in it. So, all right, so now it's opened up in the text document. So CSS is really simple. You just type body. So now we're just setting up what certain colors will be and then we'll pull these parts into the different into the different areas. You'll see in a minute here. So we want to do some scrolly brackets and then tab and then we'll say background dash color color and then we're just going to go with a very simple background color. We'll start with white. We can change the color later. But we'll just type white here. You can go and use the hexadecimal for color or, or the color symbols too, like that the hashtag FFF. For simplicity, we're just going to go with the basic colors today. So now, next thing that we want to do is on the next line, type font dash family. So then we're going to call this. We're going to use the Helv Helvetica. However, you say that font family and then air Arial and then sans sir. So now we've got the basic text here, which is which is really good. So then, next thing that we want to do is name another one called link. So this is going to be for the uh, for the buttons that we have. The links we're going we don't want them to be black as well. We want them to stand out a little bit here. So the same thing as the previous one. You can. There's, you don't really have any order in which to name these. So we're just going to call it, well, for some of them you do, but over, generally speaking, you, you don't have to particularly name them. So then for link, we'll call it text decoration, right? And then we'll just say there's none. So then that's, just so that it's the basic text and then set the color to the text as being blue and then we end with another curly blue brackets all right so we're only going to do three the third one we're going to name container so the container one is going to be the main color scheme so and this one is a little bit different so we'll name, we'll say back ground, all right, background color. So we'll say that the background color here, just to see that it's different, we'll do, we'll give it, um, we'll give it a red background color. Now this is probably going to look nasty, but it's just, it's just for the essence of the video. So then we on the next line we want to say width because this is our main paragraph so we say width equals 800 px so that's 800 pixels so we say margin left so that this is the white space that you get at the left where there's no text on average or maybe there's ads there 
So right now we're just gonna have a white space. So we just set, we'll uh, auto decide, auto configure so that it lines everything up nicely for us. So we'll just set it to auto. We'll do the same thing for right. So we say auto right. I mean, margin dash right and then auto. So that is a base, th this is the basic um, CSS document. All right. So now that we've got it, hit Control S to save it or save it however you wish and go back to the website. Right now I have mine, since I'm using two deck text documents, I can just switch easily between them. Really nice feature. I'll actually zoom in a little bit. We're going to add this after left. So after left, you hit enter, and then you type link real equals, so then, and then you got to set, so then, we say style sheet now and then you close the quotations on that so now it's saying that it's that the HTML document is getting ready to have a, a style sheet of some sort um, be brought into it it doesn't have to be CSS but generally speaking most websites use CSS so so now after um, style sheet we want to type type equals and then text dash cs or divided by css so now it's saying that it's a text document dash dash css document so then after that you say href and equals uh, and so now this is right where you call it where you import the actual file. So ours is color.css, which we have right here. Zoom in on the, on the code a second here. All right, so it's color.css. So we name it color.css. And then, and then after that, you just end the line there. So now we're bringing in the CSS file, but we're not doing anything with it. So at the end of body here, we're going to add div id equals alright so now we've got I'm just going to end that line there with the uh, divide by forward slash there so now we've got to find the appropriate container so now we're going to call this one body so we just say bod alright so now this is getting this this is pulling in the body class that we declared here, or the body function that we made here. So then we want, we're going to do the exact same thing down here, um, right, right behind H3. And instead of body, oops, we're going to do container. Because that's what we named this one here, container. All right, so now that we've got that, we'll hit Control Save, minimize this, and we'll run our website. See what happens. You can't really see where what the body did. We can change the color on that, and and everything. But right here, you can see that the background here changed to red. So we we can change out again here. Go into our CSS document and change it from red, and then we can set it to blue hit control save and in here we'll add some more some more stuff um we'll we'll use a report i wrote that, that i was working on a while ago so it's rather large but it's going to give us a, a very good a test to see what this will actually do so now when we open up our website we get quite a bit here now some of the characters are a little bit gibbed gibbered but we get the basic basic text now this uh, is kind of hard on the eyes having the blue background with the black lettering so we'll go back into our um, CSS document here and right here at the top one when we declared the background to be white we'll change that to blue and then this background color down here in container will change from blue to white now when we save it we run the website again and all the all the rest of the color has been all the rest of the background has been 
changed to blue and our document here has been changed to white. Alright, so now we've got basic HTML website with a basic color coding here. So we're going to advance more upon this uh, in, for, in further videos where and maybe see about adding a bit of JavaScript in there. See, see if we can do that. S maybe take a little look at PHP. But for now, we're just going to keep working on this. We'll get get some buttons and links working so that you can actually go to separate pages and see if we can bring in a video. So I just want to say Merry Christmas as it's the holidays now, and I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.